Hey, good morning, everybody. Pastor JC coming at you live here. I hope everybody's doing well today. It is Friday once again, and we are just about to go headlong into this weekend. And I'm excited about this weekend because it's an opportunity for us here at Crossroads to reach out into our community and to be the hands and feet of Jesus to those around us. We're going to do some good things this weekend to touch people's lives. Uh, one of those things is that tomorrow, Saturday, we are having a Reach the Beach outreach here at Crossroads. Uh, we've done this in the last couple of summers. We haven't done it yet this summer because of everything that's been going on with quarantines and social distancing and beaches being closed. But tomorrow is our first Reach the Beach of 2020. And we are going out to beach number five at Playa Linda Beach. Uh, we will be setting up a tent out there. We'll be giving away everything that we have. Uh, if you came to the beach and you forgot bottled water, we'll have it for you. We'll give it to you free. If you came to the beach and you forgot to bring sunscreen, we've got you covered. We'll take care of you. If you forgot your floaties for your kids or for yourself, We've got you covered. So if you come out to Beach 5 or play Alinda Beach tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon, actually, because the beach doesn't open till noon, you'll find us out there. Just if you don't need anything, just stop by our tent and say hi and uh, meet us and, and let us meet you and speak Jesus into your life. But so that's an exciting thing that's happening tomorrow. But I wanted to talk to you today for just a brief moment. In the word of God, in Matthew chapter 5, we have what are called the be attitudes. And one of those is, Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. I don't know about you, but I'm not a person that likes a lot of drama in my life. I don't like a lot of uprising and conflict in my life. We are called as believers to be peacemakers. It's too easy to stir up strife. It's too easy to cause conflict. It's too easy to bring drama to situations in our lives. And especially nowadays on social media, we can hide behind our computers and our keyboards and type out all this stuff, all this junk, and, and feel safe and secure in stirring up strife just because nobody can get to us. But the reality is Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. What does that mean? That means that we love people even when they don't love us. That means when somebody smacks us on the one cheek, we turn to them the other. That means that we pray for our enemies and we love those who despitefully use us and who mistreat us. That person that's talking behind your back about you, don't, don't go behind their back and talk about them. Speak love to them. Speak encouragement to them. Speak life to them. It can change the atmosphere in a room. We are called to be peacemakers. We're not called to be strife makers. We're not called to be drama queens or drama kings. We are called to be peacemakers. That's what Jesus said. And he said, blessed are the peacemakers for they shall be called the children of God. Y'all, I've been called a lot of things in my life. Some good, some bad. But my greatest desire is to be called a child of God, a son of God. For people to see that in my life and people to understand that in my life to know that I am a child of God. And so I want to encourage you throughout this weekend, find situations in your life where you can be a peacemaker, where you can bring peace to troubled issues, where you can bring peace to confrontational moments, where you can bring peace to times that are filled with hate and anger and violence. We're not to match an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. We are to love people beyond all of the things that they do or say. And so I want to encourage you, find some way this weekend to be a peacemaker. Good morning, Paula. Good morning, Nene. Glad to see you guys on here. Hopefully others will be joining or see this later. But I want you to know that today that you are loved. You are loved by this pastor and you are loved by Jesus Christ who gave his life on Calvary for you. So go forward and be a peacemaker because you don't have anybody to answer to except God. So love God, love people, serve God, and serve people. Take care.